new slick shoes. <laughs> Named after him. <laughs> and I'll tell you, these turns are very, very wide. We've talked about the fact that they could not fit a regular 400-meter track into this stadium. And they're away. The men's Olympic development, 4 by 200 meter relay. Nike International in lane 6 in the black and gold. Asics in lane 7. Now, Maurice Green is the 100 meter world champion leading off. He also is an excellent 200 meter runner, having run under 19.90. He will hand off, and a terrible handoff that he made to Alan Johnson, who, of his own right, is an excellent 200 meter runner, aside from being the Olympic champion at 110 meter hurdles. Also. Alan Johnson is eating up the turn right now. He's running right up on Ramon Clay of ASICS, but Ramon is trying to hold him off right now. Two times around, staying in lanes, each runner 200 meters. Now this is Alvin Harrison, who won a gold medal in the 4x400 relay, running against Rashawn Griffin, and is giving everything that he can handle. Harrison now can he give Michael Johnson a full running start? And he does. A good handoff. Now let's watch perfection in motion. And listen to the crowd here at Penn. Michael Johnson, 100 meters to go as he straightens out. Down the stretch. And there's the signature gate of Michael Johnson. Excellent time to run on this track. As I, we said earlier, the baton passes are very, very important. They had a couple shaky ones, but the most important one from third leg Alvin Harrison to Michael Johnson was a great pass. They were very, very stretched out there, and that's what you really need. The first exchange is probably what killed any chance of a meet record. Maurice Green came in very fast. He's in terrific shape. And Allison, Alan Johnson had to do really a, a mile relay pass. He changed his hands with the baton. So that hurt him probably by a half a second. And then the exchange, as you said, Carol, from Alvin Harrison to Michael Johnson was just excellent. Look at this. Michael's looking him in. He just sticks his hand back, takes another quick look. You can get away with that in a 4x200, not a 4x1. He steps into the other lane for a moment, but not a problem because it's not on the turn. That was a great pass. That's the type of passing you need in order to break a world record. Unfortunately, they did not have those same types of passes in the earlier legs, but Michael Johnson got away very well, ran an excellent turn, of course. When you're the 200-meter world record holder, you know how to do that, and he takes it on home. And an excellent time for Nike International, 119.85 unofficially. Michael Johnson running the anchor leg. The official results from the men's Olympic development 4x200, Nike International, 119.85. Here's Michelle Tafoya with Michael.